Good morning, good morning. Today is Thursday, the 28th of January, and I am doing my morning post. I'm actually doing it a little earlier than I normally would. Um, I haven't finished everything I would normally do. Um, I have prayed. I spent a fair amount of time reading the Bible and I have started a new book. We're at chapter one. The new book is T. Jake's Crushing. And um, before I go do my morning yoga, I thought I would kind of talk about the um, how thought provoking I thought chapter one of this book was and how um, you know, when I read these things and I actually think about my life and it puts certain things into perspective and I kind of wanted, wanted to share that. So this book, Crushing, is, you know, God turns pressure into power. So it talks about um, situations that we may face in our life, you know, that are very difficult or painful and how God uses those situations really to turn your life around. Or, um, what's the words that he used? Um, it says, now more than ever, it's crucial that we begin seeing that the plans that we imagined for our, for our lives cannot compare to God's strategy for fulfilling our divine purpose. Um, so anyway, this, it, it starts off talking about um, how his, T.D. Jakes' daughter um, revealed to he and his wife that she was pregnant and she was 13 years old and kind of how he felt about that and how this was really a pressure and painful situation and it had happened um, shortly after um, his mother died after a battle with Alzheimer's and um, you know how he kind of began to question like how could this be happening to me but anyway he kind of talked about where his life was and all these good things that were happening and then he gets hit by these he has these blows right and that you could he could you know start questioning God and lose faith or he could really believe that there's something that's really good that's going to happen and that will point his life in a, in a different direction and so as I read this you know I thought about you know similarities in my own life um, because well I don't know if I if I have shared on this media that I have a six-year-old grandson, Jaden, and um, his mom um, was in high school when she got pregnant with him. She was a junior in high school, and she was seven months pregnant when I found out that she was pregnant, and where I was in my life, you know, from a career perspective that I was kind of riding high from a, a career perspective. Um, you know, so this was in 2000 and Jaden was born in 2014. And, you know, prior to that, I had, you know, started my own business and it was doing very well. You know, I started a new business at the end of 2012. And I had, um, you know, landed a really big account, like right out of the gate. And in the first year, I did, um, I think, two and a half million in revenue at a 50% margin. And so I had, um, I was just, I was, it was a great, it was a great start. Um, and there was an opportunity to really um, do something great with this new business and really build it into a substantial business. And um, at the time, 
that I found out that my daughter was pregnant and, and about to be a, a mother, you know, she had just turned 17, I thought, wow, what am I doing? What have I been doing? Um, clearly, I got to shift focus. I, I have focused so much on career, and I thought to myself that my focus on career and money and being able to provide, you know, my children with kind of anything and everything that they wanted to, you know, to have the financial resources to be able to support um, the things that they wanted to be involved in, to be able to show them the world, you know, to be able to open their eyes to all the opportunities of the world, you know, that was had kind of been my motivation. And then, you know, when I find out that she's pregnant, I thought, I gotta, it's, I gotta switch gears now. And I made the decision right then and there that I was going to kind of change my business model. I wasn't gonna be so focused on it. Um, I was glad that I had made a ton of money, <laughs> you know, in a very short period of time. And, you know, I had, you know, what I considered you know, at least three years worth of cash in the bank. Um, and so I could afford to stop and change my focus. And so it was at that particular time that I just decided I need to concentrate on my child, you know, preparing her to be a mom, um, getting her through high school and into college and, and that kind of thing. Um, so I really turned my attention and my focus towards her. Now, what I didn't realize at that time that my whole life was going to change. And while her life was changing and she was taking on new responsibilities and I wanted to be a support for her, her having this, this, this child... Um, and us addressing this, this new, um, I hate to call it a situation that we were in really sparked a transformation in my life. You know, I had struggled with, um, weight for a really long time and, um, I'm not sure how much, I was very much overweight. Uh, I was morbidly obese at the time that I found out my daughter was pregnant. And I'm sure, you know, in the two months that she had to go, you know, from when I found out she was pregnant and when my grandson was born, I probably gained another 30 pounds. Like eating was a coping mechanism. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. I couldn't react um, in any kind of emotional way. Um, I just immediately went into, okay, you're seven months pregnant. We got to get ready for a baby. I got to get you ready to be someone's mother. And, you know, this baby that's coming deserves to be happy and to have a good life. So let's get ready <laughs> for this. Um, and so whatever emotional reaction that I would have, I kind of buried that and, um, I ate my feelings till I, you know, I gained weight. But, you know, then comes Jaden into the world. And Jade is still in high school. And I didn't want, I mean, I wanted her to be a responsible mother, but I didn't want her to be overwhelmed. Um, so I wanted, and I still wanted her to, you know, to finish high school and everything. So I was very helpful. And so I, I took a year off so that I can um, be there for the baby and be there for my daughter. But very quickly, I realized, I'm just like, man, I am way too heavy. I'm way too out of shape. Um, you know, taking care of a baby, it's, it's not as easy, you know, when you are, um, how old was I at the time? 47. 
and morbidly obese, you know, was very different from when, you know, I was um, in my 20s and had kids and, you know, was fit and it was, it was all easy breezy <laughs> for me back then. Um, and so while I was taking care of Jaden and noticing how uncomfortable I was, that's when I made a decision to, you know, I got to get this, this weight off. And because I had taken this time off to really be available for, for my daughter and her son, it gave me the opportunity to really focus on me. Um, and so within Jaden's first year of life, I lost 140 pounds. And, you know, I was happier. Um, I just felt better. I'm not gonna make a statement that I was healthier um, because I was, I was physically, I was always healthy. I was just, I was just fat. You know, I didn't have, you know, high blood pressure or high cholesterol or, you know, any other medical problem that you could find from a, um, you know, a blood test. So like on paper, I was very healthy. I was just overweight. And, um, you know, so from a physical health standpoint, I was healthy. From a mental health standpoint, I wasn't as healthy as I could be because I, you know, I, I ate all my problems and my feelings and um, I didn't, I almost, I didn't give honor to my, to myself. And so this very stressful and painful, upsetting kind of situation, because you know, with your children, you've got plans for them and, you know, they make different choices and life gets all turned around, right? And so um, it's definitely an adjustment. But the adjustment that I needed to make turned out to be the best thing for me ever. You know, I was able to turn my physical situation around. Like I said, I lost 140 pounds. Um, I really um, was able to put my life into perspective and focus on what was really important. Um, and I realized that, and, and it's not that I didn't realize it before, some things that you know, and then things happen and it's like, okay, I do know, I did know, and now I really, 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 really know. And so in that situation, I looked at it and I said, Man, God is good. God is so good. God prepared me for everything that I, that was going to happen. You know, I had um, worked in in business forever. You know, for like twenty years, and had um, you know moved up within my career and had lots of different responsibilities. And so I was very, I was very capable and very, um, you know, accomplished at what it is that I was doing. And when I went off and decided to do something for myself, I was immediately very, very successful and it was really lucrative. And it put me in a position, God put me in a position financially because I'm single, I was a single mom. You know, and, um, you know, if this had happened years earlier, I wouldn't have necessarily felt that I could just in a blink say, I can't do that anymore. Let me just stop. I got to do something different. I got to focus on what's really important in my life, what really matters in my life. And I've got to be... I've got to dedicate myself to that. And God provided a way for me to do that. And 
that was six years ago and I have never had to go back to working in the same way that I did before. Um, you know, I was able to embrace my inner athlete. I was able to embrace the, you know, the side of myself that really likes adventure and to explore. I have been able to travel around the world. Um, I've just been able to see so much of this world and the beauty that God created in it. And um, life just gets better and better and better. And with fewer headaches, you know, I, have, you know, I mean, I do get up and go to where I work in consulting still, and I, I, st I still do have my own business, but it doesn't have the headaches that I had when I was working for someone else. Um, I don't have the same set of responsi responsibilities or worries um, or challenges that I once had, but financially, I I'm so much better off. Um, I enjoy the fact that I have so much flexibility. And even now, you know, my grandson is six years old and, you know, his mom is independent and, you know, she's got her own place and, you know, she works. I still help her like through this whole pandemic, she's got to go to work, but I can work from home. And so I'm able to establish this relationship with my grandson, which is so wonderful. You know, I can be here for him. I can be here during the be here during the day, and and um, he doesn't ever have to feel like he's alone. He doesn't ever have to feel like he is second fiddle to anything or anyone. And those are things that I can't necessarily say that my children get like he gets the benefit of things that my own children didn't you know i'm sure that my children feel like you know yeah you were there and you provided and you showed up to stuff but you know you were always focused on something else you always had something else on your mind there was we were a priority but you still weren't a hundred percent present and so now I'm just able to be present and it's, it's wonderful. So um, those are the things that I thought about while I was reading this. Um, I probably have some other examples as well, um, but that was a big one for me. Um, so I definitely believe that God has a plan for our lives. Um, that God has, has, he's navigated the course for us already. You know, we can think that we understand, or we, we think we can have a plan for ourselves, and we can be going down that, that path. Um, but it's, it's wonderful to see that, you know, when we're aligned with God's plan, how smoothly things will go and then when we veer off how he'll make certain things happen that force us to go in a different direction and if we just let God direct our path and we don't resist the direction that he pushes us in how much we're, we're able to be blessed by that. I mean, it's just, it's so wonderful for me. Like, I really and do believe that I have just a fabulously blessed life. And, you know, I owe it all to God. I give him all the glory and all the praise. Um, 
you know, it's, it's, it's all on, it's all on him. And, um, I'm thankful. I'm truly thankful. So anyway, I'm going to go do my yoga. <laughs> now I have, uh, chatted longer than I anticipated. I hope you have a very blessed day.